I could sleep right now. I get paid, fake game, stay in peace. I breaking the blues over steak. I gotta eat right. You could be my peace. It is, it's blue and purple. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. The moon is in Pisces today and I, I know that when, when Pisces energy is near, I get a little goofy. So, welcome to my first face video. <laughs> what? face video of 2020. This video is probably going to be a bit more relaxed than some of my past videos because that is just the mood and the energy that we are vibing with today. So we're going to talk about some things that you can do to refresh your energy to really start this new year off with a bang because who doesn't want to start the new year off? Good. <laughs> Good word. So I have got 10 tips that I'm going to share with you and I want to give you guys some updates on what has been going on in my life because I kind of took like another little mini hiatus in December. Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for showing up for the videos that I did post in December. December for me is always a time for reflection, going inward, not, not being outwardly focused. So December is always a difficult time for me to be on screen. And even right now it's January and I still feel like awkward and uncomfortable in front of the camera. So just an FYI, if you are a YouTuber or someone who is building or starting a creative business online and you feel uncomfortable in front of the camera, I just want you to know that doesn't go away. The awkwardness and the like, should I say that? Should I not say that? That never goes away. It's just a part of life a part of the process but the more you do it the better you get and the easier it becomes which is what i have found so here we are 2020 this is like really grinding oh, i have my glasses on too <laughs> before we jump into today's video talking about really how to just refresh your energy get fully aligned for this new year i want to give you guys some updates first things first i want to thank those of you who took the time to watch this past week's video i recorded an eight minute guided meditation for stepping into the new year with clarity and by the end of four days which is when i'm filming this video it had 15,000 views which is more views than i have ever had on any video and that span of time in that short of a time. So I just want to say thank you so much for showing up for that meditation. I received so many emails, so many DMs, so many comments. There's been so much engagement just about and surrounding that meditation. And that makes me feel so good because I wanted to produce content like that for a while, but honestly, I was kind of like scared and hid in my shell for a bit. So to see how much that is resonating with all of you, just, it really makes me feel good. It makes my heart swell. So if you haven't seen that meditation, make sure you'll watch it. It is perfect for after watching this video. That way you can, that's a great energy refresh. Actually, that's tip number one. Go watch that meditation. I'll link it up in the cards for you. But again, I just want to say thank you so much for showing up for that video because I know it is different from past videos and the normal content that I do, but I'm definitely shifting more into this spiritual healing light working space because I have learned that the things that come naturally and come easy to you and also scare the living daylights out of you are the things that you were meant to do here on this earth. The second thing is that I have actually chosen to extend the coupon code for 20% off your ticket to Own Your Thrive. Just in case you don't know, Own Your Thrive is an event I am hosting for ambitious, creative women entrepreneurs, and it's happening this year. That's so crazy to say. It is May 16th to 17th, 2020 in the Woodlands, Texas. I am so excited. If you are wanting to really grow your creative online business or start a creative online business and to really create content and to do work in this world and to build a business and a life that is fully aligned with who you truly are, this is the conference for you. I am expecting 300 amazing, beautiful souls to be at this event and it is, it's a global shindig, y'all. We have people from Brazil, from Germany, from the United Kingdom, from Australia, and then of course from all over the United States. And I just like, ah, 
that is so cool to have this community here online to be able to take that offline and to just vibe and meet each other in person. Oh my gosh, I seriously can't wait. Huh. So make sure you get your ticket. You can use code ownit111 at checkout to save 20%. I'm extending that for a few more weeks. Just go to thatsmarthustle.com slash ownyourthrive. You can find the link in the description box below. And I just realized, I don't think I told you guys, but it is in the Woodlands, Texas. If I did say that, then I'm saying it again. <laughs> and my last update is that my signature business program for aspiring creative entrepreneurs called Elevate will be opening for enrollment again starting next week, Monday, January 13th, but it's only going to be open for two weeks. So I'm also gonna be doing like a free live training as well. I'll give you more information on Monday on the 13th about all of that, where it's gonna be, what it's gonna be on, and yeah. I'm really, really excited for that. So make sure you mark your calendars for Monday, January 13th. All right, we're gonna put the ears back on for this video because I feel like it. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about 10 ways that you can do an energy refresh and really get yourself aligned and fully ready to go to tackle 2020 like never before. I already mentioned the first one, which is to do an energy refresh. A great internal energy refresh is to do things like a meditation, which I talked about earlier, and also doing things like journaling, having a reflection period where you can actually go through and define what your limiting beliefs were, what, what all the lessons and the challenges from the previous year were, and really take the time to look at all of this and see what lessons, what challenges keep popping up and keep repeating themselves, but maybe just in different situations. Anytime there is a lesson that keeps popping up, it just means that there's something there that you haven't actually learned and implemented. And the only way to really understand what that is, is to reflect. As for a more external energy refresh, I like to do things like saging the house, blessing all of the rooms in my house, decluttering pretty much the entire house, but breaking it up into chunks. So doing things like decluttering my office, which includes all of my computer files, hard drive files, moving things over onto a hard drive if that's what I need to do, going through all of my little file cabinets, you know, all the old papers and stuff, recycling, getting rid of things, shredding certain documents, going all throughout my house, finding things that I can donate, declutter, organize. That is the best way to do an energy refresh, both internally and externally. My second tip is to, of course, plan out your year, but to also make that planning process fun. So some people love planning, me. <laughs> Other people absolutely hate it and just kind of like to you know, fly by the seat of their pants, which is awesome. But I do think it's important to at least have some sort of idea, just like with any project or a book or whatever you're doing, to have some idea as to what it is you actually want to accomplish this year. What are your dreams? What are your goals? What are your aspirations? And what are you going to do to get there? If you're someone who doesn't like planning, and even if you are someone who does like planning, make the process fun. Go, you know, get a brand new planner. I just got my new Erin Condren planner, which by the way, I am an affiliate and you can get 20% off. The link is in the description box below. It's very astrological. It's amazing. I love this Erin Condren planner. Can't recommend it enough. I also grabbed, I've had this for a while, a blank whiteboard so I can do my monthly planning here. I also use Google Calendar and those are really the three main tools that I use to plan out my new year, but make the process fun. Curate a playlist that gets you motivated and inspired. Find a specific candle, like one candle scent that you light whenever you're going to plan something out or make a plan of any sort. I do that for writing as well. I have a specific candle that I light, so once I smell it, I know that I'm writing this particular book series. So doing things where you can kind of have a cue to get you started, get you moving on certain projects or get you moving on planning is really beneficial. My third tip is to do all of the things that you have been putting off. Like if you need to renew your health insurance, which I think that actually already ended in December. So whoops, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit late on that tip, but who knows? Maybe you do need to pick out health insurance or maybe you need to make certain doctor's appointments. Maybe you need to schedule some pest control service or follow up on an 
on an email or make that phone call that you have been putting off for months and months and months. We all, we all have that phone call where we're just like, mm, like I'll just keep putting that off. It's not that important. Just do it because that is an energy blockage. That is something that is draining you because it's still sitting up here. It is taking away from your focus on the things that really matter. So list all of the things that you need to get done, all those annoying tasks that maybe you've been putting off and procrastinating and haven't gotten done, just sit down and make a list of those and then carve out like one hour tomorrow and just bust all of them out. Trust me, you will feel so much lighter once you have all of that nonsense out of the way. My fifth tip kind of goes along with planning, but it's to make a list of projects that you want to complete this month. You can have your big, you know, overarching project plan for the year or maybe quarterly, but also make one for this month or maybe even this week. What project do you want to complete this week or this month, whatever time frame you're giving yourself. And P.S. If you have trouble organizing your projects or staying focused, or you feel really overwhelmed and you don't know where to start, I have something so awesome for you. It is called Project Slay. It is a 30 page workbook bundle that takes less than an hour to complete. It will help you organize, prioritize. It is the only project blueprint that you will ever need for any project ever again. And eventually that bundle is going to be locked into a different deal. So I'm offering that separately, like a la carte for just $33. So if you want to learn more about Project Slay, make sure to check out the link in the description box below. My fifth tip is to start your health revamp now, if you haven't already, seeing as we are already into January. I think a lot of people are probably really going after their health goals, which is awesome. But I do know that like mid January, like you know, maybe even like early February, we start to fall off the wagon and that motivation and inspiration can really taper off. So to make sure you stay on top of it, dedicate a little bit of time to maybe go on Pinterest and find some new recipes. So that way the ones that you have right now don't get bland because you're just recycling them over and over and over again. Same with your exercise routine, you know, change things up a little bit. I love my Peloton, but I also like to do yoga and I like to do strength training as well. And so if there are other classes, like I remember last year I actually did some, or no, it was two years ago, I did some kickboxing classes, but just making sure you're keeping your exercise routine fresh and fun and exciting because if it gets too routine and too monotonous, that's where a lot of people tend to fall off. You get tired of eating the same boring, bland foods and you get tired of doing the same exercise routine. The whole, the whole thing about health and your health journey is that it's never going to be complete. And so you have to continue to make it fun and interesting and challenge your body in new and exciting ways. My sixth tip is to make sure you are still connecting with your friends and family in person and not just through technological devices. So the holidays are so wonderful because many of us are spending time with family and friends in person. And for a lot of people, that's the only time throughout the year where they do get to see their friends or family in person, especially like someone like me, I live in Texas and I have no, I have no family that lives here in Texas. So make sure you are taking the time in January to keep that connection aspect going. And if you can't see them in person, then try to do something where it's more face to face and not just, you know, a random text message every week, which that's totally fine too. But to really schedule those Skype dates, those FaceTime dates, something where you can actually see the other person and connect with them. My seventh tip is to make a vision board for this decade because yes it's 2020 and we are in a brand new decade which is really exciting so i like to make vision boards every single year but i think it is this is a really powerful time to make a vision board for this decade like thinking long term 10 years from now where do you want to be my eighth tip and this is a big one this is something i started doing last year and it has made all the difference is to shift from an I have to mindset to an I get to mindset. So normally when we sit down to write a to-do list, we have that mindset and that energy of like, oh, I have to do this and then I have to do this and I have to do this. So shifting out of that have to mindset into, oh, I get to do this. I get to do this today. I get to do that today. Shifting into that mindset will make it a more fun process. And it's also gonna help you weed out the things that you don't actually need to be doing that are maybe just noise or it's like buffer and filler and really focusing on the things that matter to you, that are fun to you and are actually going to move the needle in your life and business. 
Tip number nine is to start picking out weekly curiosities. This is so much fun because I was watching Where'd You Go Bernadette, which is also a best-selling novel by Maria Semple. I also got to meet her at the John Cooper Signatures event because I was a visiting author. That was a lot of fun. But in Where'd You Go Bernadette, there's this one quote, and I can't remember which character says it. It's probably Bernadette. <laughs> but the quote says, it's up to us to make life interesting. And so it's great to have a routine and to be productive and to smash your goals, but we also need to keep that joy and play and spark and that fun in our days. So picking a weekly curiosity, something that you've always been interested in, something you've always wanted to try, whether it's a new restaurant or you want to cook a new recipe or you want to go indoor skydiving or you want to go to a roller rink. I just discovered there's a roller rink like 25 minutes down the road from me, which is so cool. Or I don't know, maybe there's some cool wine tasting place or you want to go go hiking on a new trail. Whatever it is, pick a new curiosity every single week and that will ensure that your life is fun, enjoyable, and interesting. And my 10th tip is to make a boundaries list also known as an I'm not available for list. When you make a list of the things that you are not available for and you write it down and you put that list in a place where you can see it every single day, it is such a good reminder and it's also a declaration to the universe that you are not willing to accept anything less than the best. So things I am not available for are energy vampires mindless scrolling, intentionally consuming anything negative. If you're one of those people that goes to like negative news sites and gossip sites, that's a choice. And what are you even doing? Because that is just filling your brain with garbage and junk. This is a sacred space, sacred space. Take care of this space because what you put in here is what is going to grow and is what is going to reflect into your external reality, which is what you're seeing, feeling, hearing, tasting, touching, and smelling every single day. So why do you wanna have all that garbage up there? Get rid of it. And even better, don't put it there to begin with. I'm also not available for explaining myself or trying to prove my worthiness in any way, shape, or form. You can probably tell from the energy in this video, I'm just, this is me. If you don't like it, you can leave. You don't have to be here. It's all good. No hard feelings. So that is it for today's video. Those are my 10 ways to refresh your energy and to get this new year started off on the right foot. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up to support my channel. And don't forget to click that subscribe button as well as that little bell that will send you email notifications to your inbox whenever I upload new videos. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to come follow me on Instagram if you want more of this daily inspiration, madness, awkwardness, that is me and this KM community. Make sure you come follow me on Instagram. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you more than you know, and I will see you in my next video with love and light. Thank you.